Hi, it's Phil G again with a, another project. This time it's a retract sequencer. Um, this one was actually made for uh, Andy at uh, Model Shop Leeds, but uh, might be of general interest. Um, it's a PIC 16F684. Uh, it drives three servos. The idea is that um, one is for the main landing doors, uh, one is for the nose doors, and one is for the actual retract switch for the uh, pneumatics. So obviously it's got to be sequenced, the doors have got to be open before the gear comes down, the gear's got to be back up again before the doors close. So that's the gist of what it's about. Let's just power it up. Right, there's a red LED showing at the moment that just displays the, um, the status of the um, retract channel at the moment it's up. If I flick it down, the doors go, the valve goes, and the, the LED is green. If I flick it up, the valve goes, the doors up, go. So, um, and we're up at the moment, even if I jiggle with the doors, the wheels don't go down until the doors have been opened for a second. Similarly, if I jiggle, the legs go up and down, the doors won't close until the legs been up for a second. Um, the actual input is a single channel from the retract switch. Um, it doesn't matter for the servo travels um, how that switch is configured. All that matters is that it uh, switches either side of neutral. Um, all the travel volume is controlled on the board itself. So as long as the switch is either side of neutral, uh, everything's hunky-dory. Um, whilst we're in the uh, down position, this row of pots controls the position of the three servos, so I can I can adjust the nose leg door one, uh, that end of its travel, the down travel. I can adjust the main doors down travel, down position, and I can adjust the valve servo so it just trips at the right place in down. I'm going to flick it up. On this row of pots, I can adjust the up position. So say if I wanted very little movement on the valve, I can set that. Say I want a lot of movement on the doors, I can wind those right up. So we've got a lot of movement on the doors, not much on the valve. That's up. Doors open. Legs down, legs up, doors closed. You can even overlap um, these settings. So if I set that that way and this way, it has the effect of reversing that particular servo. Let's put a bit more movement on the uh, on the valve then you can see what's what's happening. Now let's see if we can reverse that one back again. There you go. Um, it's, the connections are on a standard receiver type connector, three servo plugs, then a bit of a gap, and then the uh, input plug. Um, the whole thing is this probably about the size of a smallish receiver, and um, I haven't weighed it, but I'm guessing probably about six or eight grams, something like that. So there you go. Um, because it's a pick and there's no voltage regulation on there, we're limited to four cells. Um, I suppose we could put regulation on there, but that's making it a little bit more complicated. But that's it in a nutshell, works as it is. That's with the gear down at the moment. Legs up, doors closed. Doors open, legs down. There you go. Cheers for now, bye-bye.